Welcome to making your own watercolour paper sketchbook. This is super easy, it's not perfect, it's just for fun and exploration. I've used a couple of sheets of watercolour paper because they take a lot of vigorous painting and sketching and I'm just going to measure some strips. I'm doing 12 centimetre by 12 centimetre pages so I'm doing 12 by 24 because they're going to be in double pages. So I've got my watercolour paper down into strips. These are going to be 12 by 12 pages eventually, but they measure 12 by 24 because we're going to stitch down through the middle and bend them. So you can see there, they're going to be 12 by 12. You can use whichever dimensions you like. I love squares because they're just kind of symmetrical and make me happy. The next thing I'm doing here is just marking them down through the centre. So I know where to fold them when we make our book. That's going to become the spine. And then I'm marking on at four centimetres and eight centimetres, or whichever your dimensions are, where I'm going to pop my holes because that's going to be where I stitch the spine. So a professional bookbinder would use an awl, but I haven't got one of those, so I'm using a pair of compasses that you get in a math set. And on top of my cutting board, so I don't make a mark through my table, I'm just going to go onto the marks that I've made and I'm going to pop the compass through and I'm going to really wriggle it around a little bit to make those holes. And this is where I'm going to be stitching through in a moment with my needle and my thread. So you need to do this on all of the pieces of your paper. Give it a good wriggle. I like to reduce, reuse and recycle. So I'm reusing a piece of card that came from a watercolour pad. You could use anything and you could cover it with all types of lovely wrapping papers and things to make it look pretty. But make sure that you just cut it a little bit wider and longer than your inside. So it's about a centimetre extra at each end and half a centimetre at the top and bottom. This is to make it look neat when it's finished. So I've got my cover now and I've popped in the holes and you can see the holes are the same place as where the holes are on the insides. And go ahead and fold that up. You want to fold it against the holes on the spine but also try and make the edges level. But don't forget, this isn't about being perfect, right? This is about just exploring and having fun. And like we said, the less perfect you make this sketchbook, the more likely you are to have a load of fun with it and just make some awesome, smooshy, colourful, expressive art. So if you remember, we cut the cover just slightly longer than the insides. And that's because we're only making rough books here. We fold them, especially if you have thick paper or lots of inner pages and you get this stepped or staggered effect as the spine thickness pushes the paper forward and we don't really want that on display even though we're going for imperfect it's nice to have a neat cover so once you have wrapped around your cover that's a little bit longer on either side you will see it's super neat and tidy how awesome is that okay so we have our cover in place and we're ready to stitch now, it's really important uh, to use the right materials, but I'm using some thread here only because the watercolour paper I'm using is really thick. And that means that I think it will take the thread, which could rip through either printer paper or cartridge paper. You could use string, you could use yarn or wool or waxed, wax thread is the best thing. So you'll see I'm passing it through from cover to inner and I'm making a loop and going back through the holes here. I'm keeping a tail at the cover side and yes, it can be a bit fiddly. I'm leaving a tail at the cover side and that means there's a loop in the center of the book. Now you pull that close and that's what's going to hold the pages in place. Keep hold of that tail because you don't want to lose that. There's no knot and you take it back through and make a second loop. Loop in the center of the book, tails at the spine. And then all you're going to do is pull it as tight as you like snip off your needle and make a double knot and this is what keeps all the pages in place. So once you've fiddled around making a knot, ta-da! There we go, it's your own perfect little sketchbook, how adorable is that? You can use it as a sketchbook or a journal, cover it, decorate it, do what you want to do with it. It's a great little tool to use as an artist. So I would suggest giving it a good old fold and a good old squeeze along the spine. Put it under some really heavy books for a couple of days to get it to lie flat. And if you love this idea, 
then come over and see what I'm up to at kellyherrick.com. You can click on courses, see all my online courses and events as well. Or you can find me at Kelly Herrick Art on social media. See you guys soon.